Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. I've got a um, uh, Asa Abloy. I don't know what model it is, but it's a uh, Asa Abloy padlock for a kick cylinder. And uh, I got this from an eBay seller. Man, I'll tell you what, that thing is. I have my hands all over it. Got it. There we go. Much prettier. And I got this off an eBay seller and uh, selling them for a pretty decent price. I think it was uh, somewhere around 40 bucks. And then uh, you got to buy the kick cylinder separately. And uh, he's got um, what they call a maximum plus core. Um, when I first bought the core, I thought it was going to have a sidebar since it's got a cut at uh, bidding for a sidebar on the key. But uh, little did I know, it didn't come with a sidebar. Although, if you look real close right there on the brass lining of the uh, core body, you can see a little cutout for a sidebar. So, if you had the right plug for this kick cylinder core, um, you could potentially uh, have a uh, 6000 um, core or combi or I don't know what else would, uh, what other core this kick would accept, but it's got potential for it but just not in this one but the way I look at it it's a uh, nice little stepping stone uh, for picking combis or uh, the twin combi 6000 or the other styles and um, it does have the acid barrel spools and uh, it, it's still a pretty decently tough pick so without further ado show you all that it works great there, go. there is the bidding and then of course there's no sidebar so this bidding down here does not matter but we got some nice low cuts in the front and some high ones in the back there's another look at the keyway. So, and um, I had to practice on this one quite a bit to uh, get it open, but I've got it open a couple times now, and uh, now I'm gonna try to get it on video for y'all. And like I said, it's a great stepping stone for picking something like oh where did it go where did it go oh, something like this come on focus now this one does have a sidebar and I have not been able to get this thing open and I've had it ever since I started my channel so and it's uh it's quite tricky but it's got the same driver pins as this lock so if I can figure out how to just set open this lock which is the standard pin tumbler and then I can apply it to this lock then all I should have to worry about is the sidebar at that point so like I said it's a great stepping stone and uh, it, it's like it's not that easy of a pick by by any means so I'm gonna use a 40 thousandths top of the keyway with uh, law lock tools 18 thousandths uh, lockbuster or Bajorne I don't know it's a it's a high reach so I don't know what is up with my focus here lately there we go all right five minutes in and we still have not put a pick in the lock and it's not a quick pick so let's shut up 
and uh, see if we can't get this open for y'all in a fair amount of time. So I'd like to open it up and show y'all what's inside as well so y'all can see what I'm talking about. So uh, medium to moderate tension and uh, click on six five three two. going to try to concentrate and open this guy and uh, you get several clicks as you know the uh, ASA barrel spools have several edges on them to overcome Definitely a tricky lock. Uh, the clicks are very subtle. Um, so, I mean, it's very hard to figure out which click is the last one you're looking for on that particular pin stack. I've somewhat kind of figured out what I'm listening for, what I'm feeling for. Um, 
the counter rotation is so so minute some pins there and it's very easy to lose progress it's just a a game of patience and persistence and also perseverance There we go, felt a tiny little bit of movement in the core there on pin three. may have been an overset there As y'all can see, I don't know if y'all can see, but I've got a slight false set. Very, very slight. One of the things that I don't, don't like about these acid barrel spools, or one of the things that makes them difficult for me, it gives you very, very little movement when you get a false set. This is where I always have trouble, and it's it, everything feels set. And it's about finding just the right amount of pressure on your tension wrench to get that pin to move into place otherwise it just they just lock up
ago that was pin 5 or pin 4 I'm sorry it's pin 4 that was pin 5 slight click baby we're so close to opening the lock but it just sometimes it does not want to give it up forever I'm just trying to adjust my pick it's likes to bend on me while I'm picking this lock so I'm trying to Bend it back so I can get a little bit more reach out of it. There we go. There we go. Pin four was holding me up. That was pin four. And uh, take a see pin four, see how high that is behind that low number three. And it was just that little bit of reach I needed bending my pick bat straight, is all I needed. But uh, yeah, it's definitely a, uh, a nice, fun pick and a a nice stepping stone for uh, learning the uh, twin combis and the uh, 6000 so let's go ahead and get this for y'all as quickly as possible since I'm already at 17 minutes But very nice padlock and very reasonable price. Um, don't know if there's any left. I uh, know there was a few of them. Uh, but there you go. And here's the inside of the lock. Very nice. And it's got the uh, grub screw down there in the actuator for key retaining. Um, if you take that guy out. that guy right there the black grub screw you take that out then you can remove the key while it is unlocked so uh, then you've uh, got your uh, I think this is for rotation limitation limitations uh, you've got your cap and you've got your lock so Let's get this guy apart and see what's inside. But well worth the money. Money well spent. I think in total I spent $75 for the uh, core and the lock body. But you can buy them separate. So if you don't want to buy the core and you've got some other nice... Uh, kick cylinder to put into it you can do that too and so right off the bat you can see there is some very light threading in the core those are not undercuts they are threads with the now Number three looks a little different. Come on, focus. Yeah, number three looks a little different. No, just light threading like the rest. Very light threading. It's not undercutted, it's just lightly threaded. And I tell you what, it makes a difference. It makes a big difference. 
And as you can see, everything needed picked. All need picked. One is standard. Two is standard. Three is standard. Four is standard. Five is standard. Six is standard. Number one is a uh, barrel spool, and they are all barrel spools. Steel spring, a little bit longer barrel spool, steel spring. Back to your shorter barrel spool, steel spring. Another barrel spool, steel spring, barrel spool, steel spring, barrel spool. And the top, the retain spring retainer. And there's your, as you can see, there is a cutout for a sidebar. Like I said, the plug does not accept a sidebar. But the body itself will take a plug that has a sidebar. So, there you have it. And give you all a nice little close up here of these pins. And as you can see, standard key pins with your infamous ass of barrel spools and a very nice pick. So, hope you all enjoyed that and uh, got some good information out of that. And I enjoyed picking it for y'all. If y'all have any questions or comments or anything uh, you'd like to let me know or ask me, uh, please drop them down in the comments. Uh, if you like what you see here, please hit the like button. And uh, if you want to see more, always hit the subscribe and the bell notification. So thanks for checking it out. And uh, until next time. Peace.